quite short, but take a notice of that. It's just the same as any other Hayabusa Gen 1. <laughs> Don't be daft. It looks like a fucking shopper trolley got raped by a crusher. Dropping every time. Every time. My name's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. Well, uh, a lot of people knew this one was coming. Where's the bull? We've got the bull. Um, a lot of people knew this one was coming. Obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, let me just make a few things clear um, right from the get go. So we've got all our chickens in a row, or whatever you say. Um, number one is is that the Dell bollocks makes it very very clear um, that this is a uh, tutorial. A generation one Hayabusa coolant change. Now, if you're here today for a quick tutorial how to do that, it's very straightforward. My Hayabusa clearly looks very different to yours. I'm and, you know, the definition, as we all fucking know, because we're adults, not fucking children, is that a tutorial is, you know, teaching people how to do You're tutoring people, basically. So, <coughs> I know I've just spelled it out, but obviously this retard doesn't understand what that word means. I feel epic. Um... One, because he's not teaching people how to do it properly. Number two is what he's teaching people is fucking dangerous. And number three is that someone has already done this, right? It's called the manual, either be it the Haynes, an external manual source like that, or the actual workshop manual themselves. However, this is all about the uh, coolant video he did for the Hayabusa. Now, the weirdest thing is, he's already done this video years and years before. Hi, welcome back to Delroy's Garage. Been off the net for a week or so, just basically working, head down, pedal, you know what it's like. Um, and I've got some time today to get into the Hayabusa prep. Now, the first job I wanted to do, this is something I've been promising for a little while, uh, is to get into the coolant. Now, I always look for a video on the net. Before I make one on a given subject, I always look to see if it's there. And I looked up this um, sports bike engine coolant. There's just loads of them. But there's one particular thing that nobody really bothers to show. It's how to refill it properly so that... This and I'm not going to go through the comparison between both, but the simple fact is that that's just fucking boring. And there's more to this, actually. But, um, yes, as he changed what he does, yes, he always fucking does. In this one, he bangs on about how it's got to be distilled water, not tap water, and all this bullshit he makes up about flushing it through the system. Um, where in the first one, O's pipe, tap water you know he you know he's like for fucking changing his mind right he's like fucking someone who changes the mind a lot yeah. <laughs> he's starting to replace the words for things in the future people say well you know what fucking sebastian's like for changing his mind he changes his mind quicker than del boy does but we're at the pre precipice here of just creating that common phrase and saying you know the D bollocks is going to be a saying of the future. Right, so we've got number one. Yes, he's done this before. Two, he's just run out of shit to do as usual. And he thought he'd do a tutorial and completely fuck it up. Now, I've been saying for a long time, just like with the Brock thing, weirdly enough, another coolant thing. I don't know if it's about coolant. Coolant is the most simple thing in the world, right? It's, it's fucking simple. And... Thermostats, expansion tanks, um, radiators, all of these things. It's extremely simple. You have a fucking hot thing, right? There's a lot of waste heat. You have a pump down here to move it, right? Because basic convection currents just aren't quick enough. You have a rad, right, that requires air to flow through it. It's quite simple. It goes from there through a stat there to there to your pump and in there it's basically that simple and then basically anywhere along here they just add an expansion bottle and that's for well expansion weirdly enough it's like it's written on the fucking bottle <laughs> and then you do all this and there's a few different systems you can have bypasses you can have this you know it, there's a few different systems and you want air going through here and when it's not fucking blowy 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 because you're not going anywhere you put a fucking fan in there it's that fucking simple now you can put temp sensors bloody everywhere right 
in some things, you can have temp sensors like two strokes, you have temp sensors, you can actually put them on thermal couples and stuff. But the spark plug, some of them, two strokes have thermal um, temp sensors in the fucking cap, you know what I mean? There's loads of variations on this system, but the system is very fucking simple at the end of the day. You just circulate, it's a heat exchanger, right? You are circulating a liquid, a working fluid from the engine to somewhere to be cooled, and then you are pushing that cool, as it cools, you're pushing it back into the system. This is not so much to, it is a, it is a cooling system. It's actually more of a temper, temperature regulation system. It is there to regulate the temperature. And this is why the pump is driven off the engine. Let's just say the engine drive is there, right? That's why it's there. It is there to drive it. And as, as, Work goes up basically as more and more you fire more and more frequently as you increase the RPM, then the fucking pump increases speed to match it. It's like the supercharger version of coolant. It's a fucking pump. It's that simple. There's nothing science massive about it. Blah 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 blah. Then there's just the fact is that this is a pressurized system. It's fucking that simple. It's it's not rocket science. Well. No shit. Hopefully. Right. But fucking hell. You've got Brock bleeding, cooling, fucking fluid everywhere and just goes, ah! and just thinks it's fucking funny. And you've got Del Bollocks with his Evans and the all Evans thing and all this kind of shite. It's just fucking mind blowing that all of these, all of this comes from cooling. Any road. So the big massive fucking balls up the dell balls up here is the fact is that he's telling people to undo their cap in a hot engine everybody knows you never go full retard i feel epic does not do it that is incredible this is as old as fucking coolant is, as as, it, as old as engines are. You just search, and I'll, I'll show you now, you just search radiator caps, and it just shows them all, and every single one, actually I've got the picture here, every single one says the same fucking thing, right? It says, uh, never open when hot, allow to cool, never open, just the same fucking thing. Actually, I looked in the... Um, a lot of manuals, I'll show you a picture now, I've got it up on my phone there. But a lot of pictures, it says, never open when hot, hot coolant will scold you, right? <laughs> it doesn't get any clear on that warning, uh, in German, danger, you know what I mean? It is that fucking simple, it is on everything. Don't have it on his, because he's replaced it, I don't even think he's actually got a pressure cap there, I'm not too sure you can actually see from the video, and all this shite. And yes, if you go and look in the manual, this is the Hayabusa, I've got the Hayabusa, I'll show you on the fucking thing, just to make sure that we're all on the same page here. It says, do not open the radiator cap when the engine is hot, as you may be injured by escaping hot liquid or vapour. When removing the radiator cap, uh, tester put a rag on the filler to prevent the engine coolant from spilling out. That's when you just do the tester and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the next one, because you get these, I'll show you a tester soon. Uh, first thing on the engine coolant system, before it shows you the glycol graph and all this kind of rubbish, it says, warning, it's the first thing, it's the first section, it says, you can be injured by boiling fluids or steam if you open the radiator cap when the engine is hot, after the engine cools, wrap a thick cloth around the cap and carefully remove the cap by turning it in a quarter turn to allow the pressure to escape, and then turn the full cap all the way on. Uh, the engine must be cool before servicing the cooling system. This is the actual manual for his fucking bike. The thing is, though, it's <laughs> it's nothing new, right? This has been, like I say, this has been around fucking time immemorial. Fucking dickhead. But, you know. Dickhead. Absolute dickhead. The problem with the Dell Bollocks is that he always has to have that little fairy dust, that little... I know you've seen someone draw draw a line. I know you've seen someone draw a line on a whiteboard like this. But let me show you how I do it. 
He's a fucking spastic. He has to do it some kind of fucking weird way. I don't know. And it's always a better way. It's just fucking bollocks. Now, more the what I'm more bothered about is yes, people are gonna get hurt, people are gonna get scalded, people are gonna get burnt. <sighs> Any road. This, the, what I'm more interested in is two things. So we're gonna go through two things. Number one is the comments. Um we know how stupid this is. It's clear, plain to see. It's the comments. I want to read through some of the comments and show you some of the comments. So number one is actually from Dell. It says, in fact, in exclamation marks, edit, it's pointless answering any more questions on this because it has become a single opinion boot party. Yeah, you're just a fucking dumbass. Right. The next one is, oh, I don't know, Juggernaut. Someone, whatever Juggernaut, I can hardly read it. So many pro mechanics comments. Hey, let's see their videos for criticism. This is my video. And weirdly enough, talking about Suzuki's, here's me doing the coolant change very quickly. I'll give it the link in the description. My coolant change on the fucking SV, as you meant to do it like everyone else but fucking Del Bollock seems to do it. Wow, just like that, we're all good. And you want to do it cool because it squirts, and that's just because the pressure of the si pressure of the system. And I don't mean um, high pressure. We're taking the cap off. There's no pressure like that. I mean just the, the hydrostatic pressure of the uh, of the entire system. Where's that fucking spanner gone? You mentioned the rational and bad design is doing the flush this way. Made sense, looked effective. Fucking hell, all you're doing there is flushing coolant out. You're talking about corrosion, it'd be fucking particles and dust. I just fucking know. Don't get me wrong, there's tiny particles in there. A cooling system, that cooling system is on a 20 year old bike. We'll get to that in a minute actually, but any anyway, road. So my ZO, uh, Z. Or six uh, rocks, I think he means Z O six. Don't know. Forty uh, Z O six. I'm thinking Z X six. Maybe he's just retarded. Forty one people dislike this because they didn't change coolant. Ah ha ha ha. No, because it's fucking dumb. Someone put maybe forty one people ride air oil cooled bikes like me, which is quite funny. I do like that. GP Z fan. Then he puts GP Z fan. Ha ha ha. So you dislike coolant changes, thanks, I needed the giggle. Then Brian Pin puts, maybe the dislikes were because of the method used. I'm a fully qualified mechanic and I've never drained a hot system. Good man. Mick, it's a lot different to your previous booster coolant change. Is this a better way? Also, why didn't you use Evans like in the Ninja build? Delin comes back and says, I want the oats coolant for its fluorescent properties. It's fucking red. Not fluorescent, you twat. You'll see why later when I get to do it. He mentions this more than once, and I'm gonna actually put him put the pressure on in a sense because I want to put the pressure on. <laughs> um, another guy, oh, I'm shooting his V. Edel, a louder, fucking whatever. Manufacturers would be leaving themselves open to legal liability if they recommended draining hot coolant. That could be why they say to do it cold. Too true. This is Del Boy. There are countless things that mechanics do that manuals and warranties advise against. Makes easy meat for the petty haters too. But in real life, just get the job done. There is... The bike was cold, you fucking complete. Fucking prick. The bike was cold. You sat there and warmed it up. We'll get to the procedure in a fucking minute. Just look at the wrap. Now, the race pit crews in the old days, the things they did to get the bike back on the track would have your teeth cut. They weren't changing fucking... If if a bike dripped its coolant everywhere, you'd have binned it and it's fucked. You know what I mean? Or if it blew a hose or something, they'd get back to the pits and then the Yeah, but that's... You're not in a race, you twat. <laughs> like you'd ever be in a race. What that is, is a mixture of two-stroke oil and water. Now, those of you... It mixes up 
Those of you who ever rode two-stroke bikes in the 80s, you might remember that back in the day, Grand Prix bikes, proper GP racing, used to use two-stroke engines. And they used to actually run their engine oil as a mixture. It was an emulsion, an oil and water emulsion in the engine, deliberately 50% water because it's actually slipperier than oil. Shut the fuck up, you cunt! They recommended draining the oil. Oh, this is brilliant. Alex Fur said, they recommend draining the oil hot. Yes, Alex, you prick. That's for a totally different fucking reason. <sighs> when they tell you to do things, they don't know if you're in the fucking Norway, Alaska, or in the middle of fucking Australia, or in fucking bloody Nigeria. They don't know where you are in the fucking world because they sell the bikes all over the world. The fact of the matter is, is if it's really fucking cold, the oil is going to be really thick. It's like fucking treacle. Like, literally like fucking treacle. Now... If you try and drain that oil out, you will basically take some of the oil out and you'll only get about fucking 30% of it out because you're not going to sit there and wait all day. So then basically you bung it back in, add a bit more, and you haven't done an oil change. You heat the oil up. If they say to everyone, heat the oil up, then it'll flush out properly. There's another reason why they say, um, uh, why it's different than coolant, you fucking retarded fucking fruit. It's because... The oil doesn't become pressurised in the system as it's heated. Now, there is oil pressure in the galleries, but not in the sump. Fucking moron. And the oil doesn't boil, and the oil doesn't turn into a vapour called steam, and... Ugh. Steve Williams then puts in there, warm, which I like. That was quite good. So, what's that say? That looks like it says... Brititron John says... Not good practice to put cold water into a hot engine possible to crack the heads and barrels. I'm a bit funny with this one. If you heat an engine till it gets up to operating temperature, then instantly drop the coolant out of it. There is a possibility, but you'd have to be ragging it, and he's not ragging the living shit out of it. If you cut the engine, then drain the coolant, the aluminium and everything are pretty much very well conductive and can conduct that heat to the fluid. Mm, you drain the fluid away, it's going to heat soak other places instead of the actual coolant. It's this putting cold water in to make it crack. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think. Um, like it says, this below, I said, Del Boy says, okay, take a moment, think about yourself, hot engine thermostat closed. Del's just talking fucking rubbish. He doesn't think that engines conduct heat for some reason. Um... Steve Williams goes into some big thing about explaining it, and I like his explanation. I'm not going to go through it. That's a different topic altogether. We're going to test that, actually. Why not? Uh, Brian Bailey says, yep, yeah, best way to get an ambulance straight to hospital with burns and scalds. Del Boy says, responsible precautions like any service operation. No, you complete cunt. Fuck me. I've done, I've done it loads of times. I wouldn't. I just fucking wouldn't. It's a pressurised... It pisses in your face, you're fucking done. And if you think some little flannel or whatever's going to stop most of it, get the fuck out of here. Paul Wood says, then, sorry, that's a very flippant reply and a dangerous advocate way of performing a coolant change. By all means, risk your own personal safety in your own garage, but please don't suggest this is a safe or the correct way to change coolant on any engine. I am shocked you posted this, as generally you are good at reminding viewers of safety. Paul, sorry, mate, he's just a twat. That's the problem with Dell. It's all about pumping the videos out so he can do the fucking thing, so get the fucking money in, get that fucking Patreon money in. Hi, Dell, would you use Evans Coolant again? Seemed very promising last time he used it. Oh, that was the last time he pulled down the video because he was talking complete fucking rubbish. I need the Oats Coolant. He says that Oats Coolant thing in the fluorescent properties. I can't wait for that. So we're waiting, Del. We really are waiting. I want to see what this fluorescent properties of the oats coolant is all about. Looks like he's using G30. Looks like from the, he tries to hide it, but that looks like a coma bottle to me. And it's red, so it's the G30. I think it's G31. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, is it a good idea to fill up a system with cold distilled water when the engine is hot? Shouldn't I remember your thermostat is over the coolant cell. I'm um, yeah. I'm, I'm. 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 Let's just say I wouldn't risk it. Well, you just don't do this in the fucking first place. But I wouldn't risk it. 
you know what I mean? I wouldn't do it with a Z9. I'm going to do a lot of current changes real soon because I've got all the Evans stuff and all that crap to do soon. And we've got some old coolant. I've got loads of other coolant and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to do the, the live tests and all the rest of it and get all the data to stick it straight up Evans' ass. What's more important, I've had to write some of this down. There. What's more important is the actual procedure. So there's some things I don't understand here. It's, it's bollocks, I understand it's bollocks. Let's have a bit of Red Bull while we're at it. Number one is um, the three cycles. The bike is up to operating temperature once the bike, once the fan comes on, because basically that's saying it's too hot sat there. So the next one is, it's a new rad. And it talks about how mucky the coolant is and all the other shit. The fucking hell's it got shit? Why hasn't it got new, it, huh? Why hasn't it got new coolant in it? It's a brand new radiator. So that one I don't get. This is just bullshit. But I, I, I've got a brand new radiator. Same thing, Charlie's radiator for the R5. I haven't put coolant in it. <laughs> Why would I? Yeah, and the other thing is, it's just sloppy what he's doing. That's the other thing. It's just sloppy. Forgetting the fact that it's dangerous, right? It's just sloppy. He's maybe doing a tutorial showing how gas do it. And you see this clip where he's putting the coolant in and he's squeezing the pipes. He's gone fucking everywhere. Just fucking sloppy, dodgy shit. But this isn't the creme brulee of all of this, right? The creme brulee of all of this is that he's been a sneaky bastard and he's up to no good. So number one is it's dangerous. Number one is it's dangerous. And it goes against everything that everyone has ever said, right? Obviously. You'd have to be a moron to think it's not. Number two is this whole edit thing. So, have I got this right? Yeah, there's something wrong with this video. Something categorically wrong with this video. And I see it all the time. And someone did ask me, um, can you do an example? And this twat has just done an example. And I'll show you what it is, right? So you can go back, and I, I suggest you go back and look at the original video after I tell you what it is. As soon as you see it, you'll go, hang about. So number one is, is that he opens the cap, nearly pisses scalding water and steam all over his fucking hand. It looks like he does burn his hand, the prick. But then what he does is he goes around to the other, other side of the bike, right? And he's got the coolant hose like this, right? And he's saying, undo that Jubilee clip there, right? He's saying, undo that. Can you fucking see me and can you see that? There we go. Oh, fucking dickhead. Work with me. <laughs> so he's got this coolant pipe. So this is the pipe, just so if you can't tell by my shit drawing. There's the coolant pipe. And then what he does is... He says, undo this. So he pulls it off. Now, when he does that, you can see, I know this is ridiculous, but you can see steam. So we know that this is in order. He's done the front. He's released the pressure at the top because it's pressurised. Twat. He's released the pressure at the front. He's come here and he's undoing this and he's going to, he puts his kitty, kitty litter shitty tray on the bottom, undoes this and drops the coolant in it. However, when it comes to do this, so he's undoing this, he's winging this off, right? His expansion bottle here, with the fucking line on it, with a little clisp on, this has got, it's, it's above the full mark. Then what happens is, is he comes to the scene where he undoes this pipe, and this is empty. This is empty. And he empties this out, 
And then when it drains this out, it comes to take this clip off and she's fucking full again. She's full again, but you can see that this pipe's off. This pipe is hanging down here. And I'm thinking, and the coolant's always the same colour. This is green. This that comes out of here is green. Dirty, you know what I mean? And I'm like, and I can't work it out. I can't work out what he's done. And he's done something, and I bet you my bottom dollar is because he's covering up a fuck up. So it's the conspiracy, the cover up. I reckon. I reckon he's burnt his hand. I reckon he's done something. I reckon he's done it, fucked up and gone, oh fuck what have I done? I shouldn't have started the bike up. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. Because even in the thing he goes, carefully, very carefully. It's because he just remembers earlier that day that he burnt his fucking hand like a twat. It's the cover-up, and I see these so many times. The continuity of his videos are all over the fucking place. It's not that hard to do. These are simple skills, as this prick keeps on saying. In the last one, he says, oh, yeah, and we're going to talk about cavitation. Then never fucking said anything about cavitation, because he doesn't know what the fuck cavitation is. This is what I'm talking about. There's this cover-up. There's this whole editing thing and it really really doesn't make any sense it really really doesn't make any sense until you realize what he's doing it's like other video where he had his safety glasses on and then he had a fucking scratch right under here jesus has still got the mark on his head and yes jesus is doing it jesus has still got the mark on his head where i put a bit of red pen on it um <laughs> Isn't that right, dude? It, yeah, it's like he's got his safety glasses on down here and he got nicked here and he reckons it went fucking up here and went up. I was like, fuck off. You have your fucking glasses on, you cunt, even though he loves to preach. Then sticks a grinder in the fucking vice like a bell end. <sighs> but yeah, I'm sure there are loads of fuck ups that he does that he just edits out. And I'm sure if Penny were watching this, she'd be like, ah, yeah, I remember that and that one and that one. It's a weekly occurrence, actually. He edits most of it out. Just fucking nonsense. So, that's it. You know, it's one of these things people say, why do you take the piss out of him? Do it your own way, but this is a tutorial. And there are people in the comments saying, thanks, I'm about to do that. Thanks, I'm about to do this. And he's going against common sense. This isn't health and safety gone fucking mad, right? I have a grinder and I take the guard off. Right. Ooh, fucking hard not me. But what I'm saying is, is there's, there's things you can yeah, you take into your own responsibility. and But I don't advocate doing that, right? It is P PPE, it's personal protective equipment. Guards, glasses, shields, gloves, all this shit is down to you. It's personal. However, steam in a radiator system is not personal. There's no PPE you wear for that. You respect the system and understand the dangers that are involved with it. It's just like using high pressure hydraulics, uh, high pressure pneumatic systems, just like using diesel injectors and common rail systems. You don't start fucking undoing it. Jesus Christ. You've got to understand the dangers of these things. I looked in the Z900 manual and it has the stickers. It has a copy of the stickers warning this contains high pressure, uh, you know, high pressure, pressure nitrogen on the rear shock. Warning, this is this. Warning, this is that. Warning, this is fucking hot. I remember as a kid, I went like that and looked to the exhaust and I went like on my dad's bike, I must have been about six or something, grabbed it and went, ah, you motherfucker. Yeah, and I burnt my fucking hand. Right? It happens all the time. It happens a lot when you start welding, you forget you fucking just welded on that and just want to move it and you, you want to move it in position. You do this and then your fucking gloves melt to it. You know, you learn. But, this is something that in no way needs it just just doesn't need to be done right it doesn't need to be done if he thinks that getting it hot takes all the fur off the inside of the what is it well then surely your fluid will just be suspended in fucking all this shit because it's gone through loads of heat cycles you're a fucking lying twat right <laughs> that's all it is you've made a video 
You made loads of fuck ups in it. You tried to cover it up. And that's why the continuity is fucking everywhere. And then as soon as you've done that, you posted it anyway because fuck people. I want my fucking view money because I've got rent to pay on this big massive workshop that I don't even know how to fucking use properly. Fuck off. That's not gonna make sense. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit fucking angry there. It just it, it really fucking pisses me off when people are money grabbing cunts and that it could be Isaac, it could be fucking anybody, blah 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 blah. It just fucking pisses me off when people do it for the sake of just, you know, oh I'm making more money doing this than I am riding around the fucking park and ride park and ride like a fucking spastic. It just fucks me off. Any road, yeah, I hope that makes some sense and gets through to some people and what have you, and hopefully, whatever, probably get slapped with another fucking community, whatever, or a fucking police will be around. Good luck to them. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.